fucker is doing right now. Not but stupid, but the youth are stupid. Ooh, stupid, like very. So, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, Larry H is here with the queen with the gold mic. Uh, I'm not even gonna say nothing about the Browns and the Steelers because we that's, both. That's 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 the best two weeks. Are. What are you talking about? I'm not talking. I'm talking about both of us taking L's last week, especially oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Atlanta. But your guy, the rookie's coming, Kenny Britt. Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. He Kenny. should have been put in way before Sunday. Mm-hmm. But we got something to do. In the locker. You gotta make a phone call. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a conversation with Mike. All right. So. Oh, oh. He, he, what, what was what's going on? You, you, I thought Mike Thomas was your crush, though. He is. Uh huh. And forever will be. Okay. That's not okay. Right. That's why I'm able to say what I need to say. Oh, okay. All right. We just uh, shit together. <laughs> we got our we got our guests in the building. And and the thing about it is, it's always a pleasure. The man, the man, the, the Godfather, legend. the legend to engineer the show, DJ Johnny O. If you don't know, now you know Johnny O, the 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 the, the, uh, the, the sorcerer, the, the 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 Superman of nerve DJs. Yes, you. Yes, you. Well, thanks for that introduction. Man, uh, like, like like like, listen. Yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he's a humble guy. And you know Johnny O took that. How was that trip down to Atlanta before we get to um? Oh, yeah, they went to the game, right? Yeah. We went down to Atlanta for a flight. And I hate to make this flight. Mm. Oh yeah, you'll miss them. American flight. Airlines. Oh Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We get to New York. Mm-hmm. And then we were maybe five minutes late because we had to sit on the gate in Cleveland for some reason. Yeah. We get there and the plane is gone. What? I don't know where the plane be. You know what? I'm not waiting. I don't want to mess up my record. I'm not waiting. That's what the pilot said? The pilot said, I'm not waiting. Are you kidding me? It was 30 of us standing at the gate. They left 30? Did y'all get a refund? They should have cut y'all a check right then. I know. I was like, fly me back home here. I don't give it. These airlines are tricky. So I had to go and buy two one-way tickets. From LaGuardia to Atlanta. We did not get to Atlanta until 3 30 in the morning. Thanks. Wow. From what time? Did you, what time we did you leave? We left Cleveland at, we, we left our house at 3 p.m. Mm. to get on a 5 15 flight. Should, you should have been in Atlanta probably, what, about 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock, man. 8 o'clock, man. 8 30. That sounds like me leaving Vegas. Oh, uh, wow. And you didn't get there till 2.30 a.m.? We landed at 2.30. So you, you really got the plane to about 3. Mm. Yeah, we didn't get to the, F, to the hotel till 4. Dang. So it was cra- it was, that was the crazy part. So I missed my gig on Friday night. Oh, mm. I would be mad if you missed your money. Yeah. Mm. So oh, I, I, I would tell you. I paid that $1,000, too. So mm. Missed that. And, uh, I would have told him $2,500. I paid him $1,000. It was 1000 so mm. I don't lie. Right, exactly. I didn't like ugly in this situation either. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, but, you know, I can't be, do like they did. So. Right, right. That's that is man crazy. Man <laughs> right, exactly. So let's bring you got out of the the entrance music. So I'm glad Johnny O that you're DJ Johnny O that you're safe. You got got back. You get you and the missus got safe. And um, shout out to DJ Ellery Smith. So. W- that's one of my favorite brothers. Hey, he is. All right. So before we, I'm a, we're going to talk about a passing of somebody and then a, Coolio. Oh, oh, sorry. And then there was another DJ that was gunned down. Ooh, who, who was that? Um, yeah, who was that? I don't know. That somebody. earlier, I think. Who, who was that? I'm going to have to look it up. All right. So. What was the we gone. Yeah, we in Cleveland or what? And I think it, um, Cleveland. I think it was somebody. I forget. Huh? Yeah. So, um, Johnny O, you got the entrance music for our guest here. I do. I'm uh, ready, bro. All right. So, 
Well, all right, so we're going to bring our guest in right now. And, of course, she's an old friend of mine, and she's always leveling up. That's why I'm playing this by Sierra, Level Up. Please welcome pro photographer, promoter, all-around great queen, queen herself, Miss Anna Redding in the building. How are you doing, Anna? I'm good. How are you doing, Larry? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. So, Ah, gee, it's been a while since you've been up here, huh? It's, yeah, it's been a while. Last time I was up here, I was up here with Uncle Lynn. God bless his soul. And right before that, Silver B. Oh, um, wow. I used to be up here pretty frequently with Silver B, and, and I would come up here periodically for Uncle Lynn. Um, Couldn't imagine what's going on. Yeah, we were supposed to get back together and uh, do the show with him and a few other people, and it didn't happen, you know, that because it was, you know, right. time waits for no one. That's right. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Anybody. It, anybody. You know, he was ready on his part, but I was, you know, working on some details on my part. And, mm -hmm. and I got the message to Uncle Sean, so. You know what? And it's, you know, it's still, you know, we talked about this in our meeting on the Greater Cleveland Association of Black Journalists. Shout out to MC Chillherd and Harry Bloomer. Um, talked about the impact of William Silver B. Richards and the impact that he had on a lot of people, especially, you know, this is his time. You know, this is election season. This is his time. Speaking of election season, so speaking of election season, we got a race going out in Georgia with Senator uh, with Senator Warnock um, versus the person that's trying to run against Senator Warnock, Reverend Warnock. You ain't gotta say it, man. Herschel. <laughs> don't say it. Walker. Mm, mm, mm. Now. I just, I just don't get it. I, this guy, he's got to be the like the dumbest human being walking this earth. Before I came to the studio, I was watching CNN, and his son, you know, what, you know, he just blasted him, mm -hmm. and so he, you know, Herschel was on TV talking about, you know, I still love my son. His stand the third, <coughs> got out of skip, and you know I'm gonna be there for him no matter what. Blah 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 blah. blah. That's not my writing. This that and the third, dude. Really? I mean, half the time I don't even know what Herschel's talking about. Yeah, yeah, but the guy, you, it's like That's trying to understand. Sound. It's like trying to understand. Look, that 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 PTA, like I don't know that that CTE, mm -hmm. it is like. I it, 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 it's, it's bad. You would have, I was gonna say you would have thought instead of him taking you know shots on the on the football field that he was a professional fighter taking mm -hmm. headshots. He, that that man, I didn't realize just how dumb <laughs> he really uh, he is. Yeah. Was he dumb before he played football, or was the foot did the football do it? I, you, know, you know because they they get in the Miami Dolphins for um. Tua for being out there in concussion without concussion protocol, so I don't understand if he uh -huh. suffered uh -huh. like that or maybe he's just was he just dumb like that. So here's I the think have been dumb a long time. Okay, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so here's the thing with here's the thing with Herschel. Now Herschel Walker, you know he's running on the Republican side, endorsed mm -hmm. by the orange one, Donald Trump. Why? But um, his thing was is that he had, that his son is blasting him for. Herschel Walker, he was messing with a girl, and she had he had a, he paid for her abortion or reimbursed her for an abortion, and, and then sent her a get well card. Oh. <laughs> Where did they do that? In 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 Georgia, card. in Herschel's world. Now listen. Sign with an H. So, so here's the thing about I know that we just uh, Johnny Yo just came from Georgia. I know people in Georgia, you know, are not that stupid. I mean, it's just and, I mean, but he doesn't represent the rest of the population. I can't tell because that race is close. I can't tell because a lot of because you know there's still some people in four or five that's supporting four or five. That's why they're backing him, and they're even getting more backing because he admitted. Now his son Christian, who was a supporter and a Republican and this and that, he, is blasting. H's son? Yeah, H's son mm -hmm. is blasting him, saying he tore down the family. He did this. He did that. Listen. How many children she got? 
I think four, five, five. He, he, five. he got five. He got five. Four, 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 four or five. How many children did he kill? No, I think that was the only one that. Uh, we don't know that. I don't know. That's how I was gonna say. Well, uh, the one that we know of, there might be. How many children he didn't kill? Notice I said children. I don't know. Down south times. Same baby. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like these women were really. First of all, her right. back in the day, you were easy. Kind of easy. Way back. Way, 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 way But back. now that I'm older and I'm a little bit more mature, I look at this fool and be like, what was I thinking? I don't know why still people are still voting for this jackass. I'm just well, so. But you know what? That says more about them than it does about him. The fact True. That you would vote for this man, knowing he's functionally he's slow. He slow. Very. He's very. He's very slow. But that says to me as well that they can control him. Mm-hmm. He's easy to manipulate. He's mm. easy to control. That's why mm-hmm. they want him to make peace. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He that dumb. He can like you know. He is like that's probably that's the reason why they want him to see because he can be controlled because he's so stupid he don't know what the hell is going on in the first place. Yeah. Does he even know what today is? Does he know what year is? He probably doesn't. No. I mean, somebody help me out. I mean, when he was, this is how dumb I always knew he was. You knew he was dumb? Yeah. This, you when, knew yes. That's all folks say. Long yeah, long yes, long long. yes. Here's, here's the reason that I knew that he was dumb. Now, remember when him and, like, when they had the Republican National Convention and he was. Was he here? Yeah, no, he was. It was. It was pretty much virtual, like everything else in 2020. Mm. And he was talking, you know, about you know how Donald Trump did this, and I'm like, I know that he not racist, and I did, I'm like, <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> I lost brain cells. Listen, I was trying to what be. Was he saying? I don't. He was. You know, when everybody talks about why they endorse their candidate for president, and when he's talking about how he endorsed Donald Trump. And he was, Tersha was talking, but it was like, first of all, why are you the first one talking as far as representing black people? Second of all, what the hell are you saying? I have no idea I why. I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't follow it. I lost. I can't dummy down. I like, I was, I, I had to read, you know what I did to smart myself up after I heard that? I had to read. Oh, no, you stopped listening. I stopped listening. I turned off my. I, I turned off. I almost canceled my Amazon Prime for that reason. <laughs> I almost canceled. Like I almost canceled my Amazon Prime, my cable, my Spectrum. Every like and like I almost called Spectrum. Like, hey, cut this, cut this shit off. I but, but, but then I, just fight. I, had, I read Nelson Mandela's book and I looked at, I looked at Malcolm X quote. Malcolm X quote says that. And we're going to get into, I'm going to use that same quote later, that do not listen to celebrities or entertainers because they do not represent black people. No. Period. Mm-mm. So they don't represent black people, so I ought to remember that quote. Well, Kanye is dumbass. We're going to talk about his dumb ass later. <laughs> we got plenty of room for, we're going to talk about him later. But right now we're sticking to H because, Anna, you got any, you, you, you got any um, opinions about Mr. Um, uh, the the candy bar. To me, he 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 is functionally stupid, slow. Mm-hmm. He is functionally slow. That's um, <clears throat> he, you know, I, I think he took one too many headshots on the, on the football field, I don't think and he it was just smart, though. it just slowed him down more so smart, than uh-huh. than previous. I don't think he was either, because didn't he like mess up his money or, or something? Something like that. Back? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. There are a lot of Republican candidates, good Republican candidates. Why? I don't know what he was. Apparently, I mean, he played for, you know, I don't know what he was. Yeah. But no, he went to Georgia. No, he went to Georgia. Yeah, he went to Georgia. Yeah, it was Georgia Woodall. And the thing about it is, is that there's a lot of good, great Republican candidates that could give one knock around for his money. Mm-hmm. And that, and that said, but why him? Because it's two black men. Well, because they want to play puppeteer to, you know, puppet. Mm-hmm. They want to control. And you Herschel, know, he don't know what they he, he does and says, no, he don't. He don't. He, he ain't even comprehending what they're saying. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's confused. Very. 
So, and we're so confused. Confused. <laughs> very confused. But by the way, you know, early voting is, starts October 12th, which is next week. Uh, Indigenous People's Day. I'm not saying Columbus Day. That's Monday. I'm not saying don't. I'm not saying Columbia. I'm 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 saying Indigenous People's Day. And you know, my calendar has the nerve to have both Indigenous People's Day and and Columbus Day on it. Really? Where they do that at? Yeah. That's the level of disrespect. They won't let it go. The level of disrespect. Let it go. Let it go. It's Indigenous People's Day. I had they somebody. I like I. I had somebody almost rip my head off. I've been trying to delete it <laughs> off my calendar. It mm. won't let you. No, nope, it won't let you. Mm. It definitely will not. Let so you. I think Mike Carter said it's amazing what money does to our people. Um, One Tim- Timothy, um, chapter six, nine, ten. So, you got a Bible scripture yeah, that's, I mean, thank you, Lisa Lee Nelson. I mean, because it's, indi- I'm like I said, Indigenous People's Day is October 10th. So, y'all going to be, um, people are going to like, just, people going to be closed. So, don't be running up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. What you uh, mean? Um, this weekend, you know, what because you the courts will be closed. I'm just saying, people going to probably do oh, something crazy. Oh, you're going to be in jail for a minute. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> The judges you're, you're out right. Exactly. Pretty much. You you gonna get you a, gonna, a whole weekend vacation right. in jail. Yeah, you gonna be like, why can't so I? Can... Going to, what are they going to do? I mean, well, think about it. Halloween. It, well, it's, Halloween is October thirty first. Yeah, we got a long, we got a long I way hope to go. People ain't out here going to jail for Indigenous People Day. I don't know if they're going to jail or not. But we also have also October is not only domestic violence. Um, uh, my breast and breast cancer awareness. And it's the Queen's birthday. Well, yes, your birthday is Sunday. Sunday. So you're not. So because of Hurricane Ian, I'm going to have to forego. Right. My uh, Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. So, and shout out to what were we at Saturday, Jay? We were at Slater's, three seventeen East two hundred Street. The old Zanzibar, and we right? Went on in Slater's Stadium. It was a nice, it was a nice venue. I mean, it was a nice venue, and the buffalo wings I had were very good. I had, um, what did we have? We had garlic corn. We had um, oxtails. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, it was shots on top of shots. <laughs> you was done Saturday. <laughs> Yo, know, you was. I tried to say goodbye. You was like. Mm. Well, <laughs> but you was, but I'm glad that you had a good time. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, he always trying to keep you free. Once, mm. he was living it up. He was living it up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the thing about it is, like, you know, like I said, early voting starts October 12th, Wednesday, October 12th. Got to register to vote. Please do that if you and, have. And listen, people, you mm-hmm. know, we, we, this is a very important race, and I don't think people really realize that we're voting in New County Executive. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I was in a meeting last night, a community meeting last night. It just amazes me how people, um, you got your uh, baby boomer generation, um, and you have your X Gen, which is myself. Um, you know, we see things a lot differently. Mm. Um, the baby boomers are still voting the Democratic ticket, mm-hmm. not realizing that voting a straight Democratic ticket has gotten us what we've gotten. Um, True. And if we keep doing it, we're not going to see any difference. But the other part of that, too, is that the three hundred over 300,000 unaffiliated voters in the Cuyahoga County, that's the other issue. We seem to drop the ball. We never address that issue, um, you know, with the 300,000 unaffiliated voters in Cuyahoga County. There, there's a lot of work to be done to regalvanize people as to why they need to vote. And there's, you know, a lot of work that needs to be done be done for people to identify with a party. I get it. The Republican Party ain't shit. The Democratic Party ain't shit. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we, we deal with both parties that ain't shit. And, you know, we have a new party that is going to be on the ballot come January, I mean, uh, November. But you got to look at the fact that, yeah, we may be forming a new party, but we won't see that party for about five to ten years. Yeah. yeah. I, so I think what they need to do is they need to yearly vote. Um, as far as voting 
officials out of office. So no more four year presidents. Oh. No more, you know, however many terms for councilmen. Because mayor. what they do is they just and mayors. They just we sit in limits. office. Yeah, we, we need term, term limits. Yeah. Because they just sit in office. They get stagnated. And they do nothing. Yep. They they kinda just sit they there and, and do a little bit of work here and there and then they do just enough to make the constituents to, think that yeah. I, I, yeah. I got a, yeah. I got Lisa Lee. Well, going back to the point about mm-hmm. Indigenous People Day, Lisa Lee Lee Nelson said, "How can you discover land where people already live?" And she agrees with the term limits. So yeah, we yeah, we do term need term. Already. Yeah, for some, for some, some, but you keep voting. Not, not for all. Mm-hmm. No, no. Look, see, mm-hmm. Polizic been Mike Polizic been councilman oh, since council yes, council people. Like we hey, talking hey. about you talking about president. Yeah. Everybody talking about. No, I'm talking about even before that four four years. Yeah. But even if you look at the you know if you look at the the house or you know house of um, representatives senators they don't have term limits yeah. and those guys are there forever and they get to ride off of that good insurance as I always say that good insurance so they don't have to want for anything mm. but whereas like modern day people like you and I we have the hardest time trying to get health care coverage. When they don't have don't, to don't, don't talk to me about health care insurance right now. Because the simple fact of the matter is, is that I had one cancel on me, didn't send me nothing. Shout out to Allwell, Buckeye Allwell, thanks a lot. And I had to call them back, but like I found something better. But the thing about it is, is like I had to go through all I had to go and then everybody and then all the people start calling you about, well, you need insurance and you need you mm-hmm. like no. You had before. Right. What was, what was <laughs> they're it? calling you saying you need insurance. Yeah, they're calling. No, I got insurance when I didn't have insurance. Nobody was calling me. As soon as I got insurance with another company, that's when every all the calls start calling. Mm-hmm. You should have told them no shit, Sean. <laughs> Did that. So, so Anna, what's been going on with you now? What are you doing now? Um, still, you know, working my regular nine to five. Um, working on. Uh, you know, revamping my website for my business, mm-hmm. uh, which is A Red Queen Public Relations and Photography, LLC. Um, you know, because COVID, when COVID came in, you know, it kind of like almost... Took the wind out of everybody. Yeah, almost knocked my business out. Um, so, you know, working on revamping that stuff and, uh, you know, working on uh, some other little projects that are coming soon. I'm going to team up with someone on a project and... Uh, Get that going on their way shortly. Mm, that's what's up. So I think COVID yeah. was designed to come in and wipe out small business and entrepreneurship. Mm. Well, yeah, it's mm. rough when you're self-funded. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I don't rely on any mm-hmm. any bank or anything that you know gives me money for my business. I'm like, I'd rather go in self-funded and and you know. Right. It's crazy. It Hold myself crazy. accountable and not be held accountable by a go- bank or on, on the wire mm-hmm. or, you know, money from them. So I'm I just glad. take my time. I'm glad this is still around. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad that, like stuff like this. That's why we need to support um our businesses. Speaking of support, um I do have a wine tasting fundraiser on next Thursday, um October thirteenth. Shout out to Derek from Small Bites for hooking up with me. Um, it's on my page. It's over in Bedford, Ohio. The Small Bites area is a nice little area. Wine tasting. Come the out. In Oakwood? Huh? Yeah, the one in Oakwood. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, how much wine is it? Uh, you get all. <laughs> you get all whatever you want. All the wine. All you got to do is pay the forty dollars cash app. So I, can, I can drink wine. Yeah. And break it down. Yeah. Oh, 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 at least until 10 o'clock. That's when the place closed from 7 to 10. Three hours worth of drinking wine. Or until you fall out. Pretty much. There you go. Yeah, yeah. until you fall out. I don't know you don't want to do that. So, Cash App, LHG, my Cash App, LHG3131 for the wine tasting. I will be there. So, support not only myself, but the people that I want to help, which is African American entrepreneurs, putting them on here like the A Red Queen. Right here, and you know, keeping everything alive from it's the headlines, wine tasting. So, uh, and then after your wine tasting, October 18th, um, we are going to have a community conversation um, with the candidates running uh, for county exec. It is going to be at Sanctuary Baptist Church from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. So, y'all galvanize the troops, get everybody out to Sanctuary Baptist Church 
on uh, East 131st so that we can listen to these county these, these candidates these candidates that are running for the county exec position. So the county exec position is Democrat Chris Romaine versus Republican we, Lee Weigart, um, who is and, and the thing about it is, like, truly will be one of the moderators. you're going to be the moderator. One of them. One of them. <laughs> oh, so, who's going to be the other one? Uh, I forget the young man's name. Oh, okay. Okay. They, he's busy. Okay. So, I shout out. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa Lee Lee Nelson saying support minority businesses. Thank you very much. Yes, support uh, flavors. It's, it's minority yeah. owned. They just opened about a month ago. Three seventeen East Two Hundred Street. Um, the food is good. The atmosphere is good. You won't be disappointed. Right. So, um, what? Uh, so, Anna, are you managing any people now? No, I actually had someone come to me uh, not that long ago, probably a couple months back, and uh, asked me, you know, about your manager. I said, no. I was like, well, you know, I'd like for you to manage us, you know, or look at us, you know, and we see if you want to manage. And I said, um, no. <laughs> So, so, so tell me, okay, so you, you manage people mm-hmm. um, in, in what realm, in what perspective? Uh, in R&B. Um, okay. You know, I, I've had hip-hop artists come to me before, but mm-hmm. um, my realm was R&B. Okay. Um, I'm not going to mention the names because... No, 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 they, no, we want you to do that. They don't deserve... So you just do R and B artists. You don't do like any other people that may be looking for a manager to promote I mean, them. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. I just don't, and the reason why is because I found out through my years of experience that people really don't want to be managed. They just like the the ooh and the ah, the glitz that comes with saying you have a manager. Tell me what you mean by that. <clears throat> what I mean by that is they don't want to put the work in. Mm. Plain mm. and simple. Mm. They don't want to put the work in. They don't want to rehearse. They don't want to do the PR. That means the interviews, the photos, the, you know, really? So how do you get famous? That's the main thing. How do you... If you, you uh, right. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, so well, if, if you have a manager, say, for instance, that has a lot of different connections mm-hmm. in that realm, mm-hmm. um, your best bet is to make yourself as visible as possible. Right? right. And that means, like I said, doing radio interviews. That means rehearsing, getting that part of uh, the band tight. Mm-hmm. It's in how you dress. It's how you carry yourself. That's true. It's uh, the photo ops that you do. You know, uh, doing enough pictures, but not oversaturating mm-hmm. the internet to where you're no longer in demand. Mm. It's it's creating a certain mystique for yourself, but being humble enough that when you encounter people, you know. Mm. See, that's why I go off air sometimes, man. That's why I go on hiatus. Mm-hmm. When I go, I go on hiatus for like two months mm-hmm. or two and a half, maybe three mm-hmm. months. <clears throat> And then mm-hmm. I come back, people be, and they'll be like, when are you going back on air? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, I'm on hiatus right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause you, I'm taking a break. Have you ever heard that, like, when you, uh, you know, bring yourself to people and, and you, like, I'm the type of person, what I tell you is what it is. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm a, a reciprocal type of person. Mm-hmm. But you have people who are not used to those type of people, who are not used to reciprocal people or doing what they say they're going to do. Mm-hmm. So when you bring yourself to them and you have a certain presence about yourself, like you're a go-getter, you, you do, 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 similar lyrics. You do, 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 do. Sometimes people can take advantage of that. <laughs> That's true. Right. They you do. know, they'll take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this person always going to do this, or they always going to be here. All... Nah, my pull back game is, is, is a monster. That's why I be trying to tell Larry sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta pull back. Yeah. You you gotta you gotta go off the scene for a minute. Oh, I go I go way off the scene. Yeah, yeah, you got to. I go like yeah. into another country. All right, <laughs> so <laughs> what made you start managing in the first place? I mean, can I, okay. we I, we go back since high school. Thirty years. Thirty years. So what, what made me start yeah. managing <laughs> Oh, I probably gave him a run for his money. Yes, she did. But uh, <laughs> what what finally what made me start managing was um, I had someone come to me. They saw me posting for different people, you know, different DJs, different artists, you know, friends that I knew, 
in the industry because I started in the radio first. Mm. So I always tell the story that I started with Dave Tolliver of Men at Large. Okay. That was my first radio job. And then after like six months of working with him, I started working with Uncle Lynn. Or I called him Uncle Tolly. Uncle Lynn Tolliver. Lynn Tolliver. Um, and did that for seven and a quarter years, seven and a half years. Mm-hmm. And then because I was doing that, people saw me doing that. They said, hey, you know, you ever thought about, um, you know, doing PR for, for anybody? I was like, no, not really. It ain't really crossed my mind. And they're like, oh, well, you know, we need a PR and blah, blah, blah. You know, can you, can you help us out? I was like, yeah. So I went and, you know, pro bono and started, just to get my feet wet, started doing PR. Mm-hmm. But then it turned into me going from PR to, hey, we need a manager. Mm. And I'm like... A lot of things ain't that hard, you know. You just figure it out, you know. Figure out the bookings, who the who the players are, you know. Make make uh yourself known because I'm I'm the type of person I like to kind of just fall back and mm-hmm. and just be to myself. But when you're managing, you can't do that. You have to like go from being introverted to extroverted. extroverted. Mm-hmm. And for me, I'm just like unless I know you like that, I'm not comfortable. So I I try to you know int- introvert again. So I'm like, well, let me just, you know, do this. But what mm-hmm. happened was, when I was doing the radio, mm-hmm. it was opening up all different mm-hmm. types of doors as mm-hmm. far as my contacts, mm-hmm. my level of contacts, which means artists all over, not just in the United States, but in, you know, Jamaica, mm-hmm. huge supporters, um, Arab countries, huge supporters. I was really? shocked at that. Um, you know, so getting that nigga that money, <clears throat> man. Mm. So you know, I would get I would get music from different places, and so um, I, my support started growing from, you know, the United States, but more so Jamaica. Like, and wow. even to this day, I've been off the radio for a minute, but even now I have like so much music that I'll probably never run out, just from Jamaica. Wow. You know, so wow. shout out to Jamaica. But, shout out um, to Jamaica, the motherland yeah. out, out there. So what's up, Jamil Norman? So you now you're just you've been off the radar. What have you seen? We're gonna talk about the music in the after break, because we're gonna talk about a certain musical artist <laughs> and when break come up. So what so what have you seen so far as far as especially R and B, because it's taking a more hip hop turn. What have you seen so far? I mean, I'm seeing that it, they seem to be getting away from the love aspect of R&B, and it's more so like the raunchy aspect of R&B. I mean, you have a few artists. There's a few younger artists um, that I can think of that, um, you know, are coming with, with the love and still retain that, that type of R&B, which is closer to soul in R&B. But um, we get type no, it's 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 not. It's more so, you know. Yeah, let, let me smack that ass. Let me, you know, <laughs> pull your draw. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But sweet. they but they singing it like you know, with with our R and B. I would say when I say R, I mean like you know, from the sixties to the even the fifties to the like mm. late eighties. It was pretty much innuendo. All right. And Darius Will Marshall, I'm going to give Darius a shout out. He said, no pure passion, just lust. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So basically, it was it was more so that there were innuendos. They still said dirty stuff, but, but that's more so yeah. in blues. It was more so in blues. Right. But in R&B, it was more innuendo type where you, if a kid was in a room and you were speaking an innuendo, the kid would have no clue what you were talking about, but you'd right. be in there laughing and giggling and, right. and like, okay, I'm about to hit that in a minute. I'm like about to take you to the bathroom. Come on and turn the light. Come yeah. On go with Close me. the door. Turn off the lights. Yeah. <laughs> Come on and go with light me. The Close the door. Let me give you what you've been waiting okay. for. <laughs> but now it's more so. An artist like that, that's more into the sexual drive, mm-hmm. if they ask you to be their manager, would you manage them? I, or would you <clears throat> decline? Because my name means something to me, uh, I probably would decline because I was just explaining that I'm at, you know, this isn't the direction I personally want to go in mm-hmm. for my life, you know, mm-hmm. and, and the whole realm that that opens up. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm going to stay over here where I'm comfortable. Right. You know, I can deal with a little bit of it, but the whole 
bulk of your existence is just this whole sexual drive mm-hmm. and we're, we're all sexual beings you know some you know most of us anyway but you know i'm not going to <laughs> okay i'm not going to sit there and you know uh base my whole everything around okay i mean you might as well just go do some porn just <laughs> I mean, she ain't lying though she is she is not these are uh, facts BT, yeah. I, I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. I, I just totally forgot. I totally forgot about it. Yeah. But I, what I've been seeing, it wasn't good, though. Yeah. Because I don't know who these people are. I mean, a lot of people, and some of them, unfortunately, and we're going to come into this next segment because we're not just going to talk about certain artists wearing certain shirts, but certain artists being canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to, and, and we're going to talk, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about that on the next segment. I mean, the thing about it is, is that we are, you know, certain things that right now, and this is the turn of the tide, you know, I remember Jodeci, I thought Jodeci was raunchy, but they were just smooth with it as far as being Mm R&B, but now it's like, you can't even, you know, you can't even, eh, it's, it's too much. It's not music anymore. They've, they've taken the, the compassion out of music. Is it, is, is it, the thing about basically, it is, go ahead, Anna. I was going to say, basically what they're doing is they're desensitizing uh, the listeners to where mm-hmm. it's anything goes now. It's like the YOLO, the, the WWF of the music world. Mm-hmm. Well, no, YOLO. <laughs> yeah, you YOLO. only, YOLO, you only live once. Mm-hmm. That's what it's supposed to stand and, for. And, right? it's, 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 and that's why we have so much. It's mm-hmm. art, I, I guess right now, is it life imitating art or art imitating life? Because we have seen so many, and we're going to talk about this later. We've seen so many, I don't know if it's the retrograde or whatever, however they want to call it. We've seen so many divorces. Oh, yeah. And. and, and Corey Hart. Right, yeah. And, years and mm-hmm. You know what? I don't blame anything on a retrograde. I think that's a cop out for people who have no accountability. Mm. And Giselle and Tom Brady. Yeah. Just, she told him to stay at home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well. Go play football again and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that later. You know, the, the, the he may be the, he may be the GOAT, but right now he's looking like the scapegoat of the outdoors. She, she hugged up with Antonio Brown, too. Who? Giselle. Just, Oh shit! That's another. <laughs> like, listen. Once you go black, you don't go back. Once you don't, once you go crazy, your mind go hazy. Antonio Brown don't got them all for real. He must got what she wants. I don't know. I don't know, like. But she told Tom, "Don't you go back on that field, Tom?" She told him. Mm. You gonna be acting like Percy Walker? Don't you go back? <laughs> but instead, Tom said, "I'm the man. Marshall. I'm the goat." See, it's like you know what? I ain't even gonna he get mad. He the he he the scapegoat right about now on that oh, thing. Oh, he gonna be, he gonna be the goat, the goat. Oh, he. Ooh. I think part of it too, because I had this conversation with someone else, is people tend to follow quote unquote trends, whether it's relationship trends. Music trends, you know, soft porn trends, you People know, whatever. Right. right. Uh, they follow the trends. So, yeah, for example, if I say, I'm going to go over there and I'm, I'm going to smack Larry upside the head. I'm going to go with you. Hey! This, no, this, you gonna see Johnny O's not going to back me up because he's going to laugh. <laughs> but I got to run. Yeah, so you better go to commercial. But just, but I'm about to go to commercial it's right now. It's just an example of, you know, you like you said, I'll go with you. That's one example. So you you get one person that says they're going to do something. All of a sudden, they tell this other person they're going to do it. Okay, well that person tells another person. Now all you all you got is a whole bunch of chaos, you know, chaos. mice that are following uh, the paper and just following suit. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to go to break right about now. And when we come back, we're going to talk about Kanye, uh, Kanye, and Kanye's um, Candace. Um, along with the baby being canceled, right back on the baby? Uh, the baby, the the hip hop artist on um, WNRV one hundred eight point one dot com. Why do I? Phones up. These people are crazy out here. But Giselle, she told.